Good morning, and let's look at our second grade project for project three. We're going to be talking about Greek pottery. Greek pottery is a work of art that tells a story. Who made the pottery? It was made by a specialized craftsman. They would dig up the clay from the ground and make them into different shapes. The pottery was used to store things like wheat, oil, other liquids. They told stories of battles, or they told stories of gods and goddesses. They even were given as medals in the ancient Greek Olympics. They told stories of battles, and here's a picture of a battle that was painted on their pottery. This is very old, it's ancient artwork. Here is another one showing Hercules attacking a centaur, and the centaur is one of those creatures that has half a body of a horse, half a body of a person. And they would have showed events that were very important to them or that had lots of significance and meaning. The pottery also had designs and patterns. If you look at the very bottom, you'll see a geometric design that they used to decorate the pottery, and that's what we're going to be focusing on in our artwork. So here's another example of geometric patterns. There I see circles and I see like crescent moon shapes down the bottom, um, some stripes, uh, the birds are repeating, and some of the colors you can see are uh, patterns because there's dark and light colors in them. We're going to be using shapes that we know, and then we're going to take a look at some patterns that they used back in that time. So here are some examples of things you could put on your pottery to make your pot look more authentic. Let's take a look next at what the pottery shapes were that they made. You may choose any of these that you like. So some were tall, some were short, some had handles, some didn't. For your assignment, you'll need to either trace onto tag board a shape of a pot and trace it and cut it, or you can draw it on the paper back, I would recommend, and then cut it out that way. So the assignment is choose your shape, fold your paper into eight rows. You're going to use Greek symbols, not green symbols, and patterns to design each row with a unique pattern, and then you're going to trace it over with a black marker. We're not coloring it this week, so just do the drawing and trace it with a black marker or dark marker so that we can start our coloring next week. Don't forget to check in so you know what to do. The rest of the video just shows you how I did mine. You'll see how there is a pattern that I created. You don't have to do the pattern to um, make your pot, but you can. All you have to do is take some type of cardboard and you're going to make the shape of half of the pot. And then you'll see in the rest of the video how you can create a symmetrical pot by having that pattern. But it's not required, so you can just do the best you can with that. All right. Can't wait to see what you get. Bye.